Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to the Assembling of a Fleet series. If you've been following along so far, you would have seen us build this massive battle cruiser and this carrier transport vessel, and maybe you've assembled one of your own. So today's episode is a bit about a controversial topic, and is of course the ramming ship, a ship that is specifically designed to ruin other people's day i.e. ram into them and hopefully destroy the ship by snapping it in two. So I've constructed one as you guys requested and I think it's a very dishonourable way of killing another ship. And I'll get onto the points why I do, but as some of you would say, very dishonourable, as um, j great Japanese warlords would say. But to make it a little bit more honourable, I've fitted it with four torpedo tubes. And you guys are always going, oh, I'd like to ram into the side of them and then suddenly eject a load of troops into them. That sounded quite odd, but we've got two doors just to do that. So it sounds like a sound idea, but then when you get onto the actual practicality of it, it seems to become a little bit of a problem. So let's actually get this up to speed and we'll do a dry run without any torpedoes firing. And what I've actually realized is You've got, you lose a lot, you don't gain much. I mean, think about it, you're ramming one of your own ships into the ship over there or whatever ship you're ramming, so you're gonna lose your own ship in the process. I mean, the chance of it not getting mangled up and just making a clean slice through is very little unless you make a ship that is like a knife blade and will hopefully cut through, but then you've got to constantly be repairing and in a survival sort of situation, you might not have the materials to maintain a ramming ship for too long. So we're getting this up to speed and then we're just going to cut right into the side and I'll show you what happens. There's going to be a frame rate drop because obviously we were in early stages of Space Engineers and there's going to be a lot of calculations of damage and so on. So otherwise we'd open up these torpedo tubes and fire them at the target. Now I'll just show you them opening now as just a preemptive yeah of what they'll be like when there's actually stuff in them. So um, where have we got? We've called them the H numbers, here we go. And if we just adjust that to there, and we adjust that to a minus number, we adjust that to another minus, and we adjust that to a positive. We should see them open. So yeah, that's basically the concept. The torpedo tubes would open up. You'd fire them off either using gravity projectiles or inertia, but if you want to ram it as well, you don't want to use gravity, or else you'll basically catch up with your own torpedoes and that not, might not end too well. Anyway, let's quickly close them before we ram in and lose them. So we need to find the H and we just put them on the opposite and then they just lock themselves in place like so. And one more to do. And there we go. So all the tubes are closed again. Now let's go for this ram and see what we can do. I don't think it'll do too much damage because if someone lays their ship out well, the best thing they could do is just turn the inertia dampeners off and you crash into the side and all you do is tend to push them rather than do serious damage. So let's have a look for the collision. So there we go. We've made an initial impact, but I mean, we, we were going pretty fast. We were going over 50 meters a second and we've barely done any damage, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to put my foot on the accelerator and just demo it. So what I'll do now is I'll hop out of this seat. You can just see we're getting a lot of frame rate dropping and we'll go inside the hull and we'll actually be able to see if we could send troops into that other vessel, so I need to get away in. So we'll just we'll, do, we'll just go here. This is good enough. And obviously, see, it's, I'm struggling to catch it because of my lag compared with the ramming, because it's rendering all the damage and so on. And then the other ship's being pushed out of the way. So we'll just make a hole here for ourselves. Get in here, please. Please. Oh, damn it, we missed it. This, you don't understand how laggy this game can be. And I mean, if you don't have a supercomputer, you, you do tend to suffer. Right, we need to drop down using gravity, please. No, no gravity on the ship at the moment. That's even better. And let's see if we can actually board the ship using this, or has the other ship just completely been cut in half? That's the question. So, it looks like something at the end of the tunnel, but I think it might just be drifting away. Yeah, so it's drifting away, and look at the ramming damage. It's, it's almost nothing. It, the best thing it could do was truly to shake the crew, and if they've not got their inertia dampers on like this, it would just be, it, they won't be causing any damage. I mean, if you threw ships in here, you might shake them up a bit, but to be honest, I think you've suffered more damage than them. Let's go and compare our damage to this ship. So we've got a nice, they've got a nice chunk out of that, but I think we've came actually after off a lot worse. So yeah, look at all the repair we'd actually have to do to fix our ship, and that's why I think ramming ships is not effective. Because you can't just keep reusing it and reusing it, constantly ramming. I mean, just imagine a battle, say a four-on-four -four ship, 
battle where you have a situation like this where there's four of the four ships and the other four ships you instantly tie up one of your vessels in ramming another ship and that's even if it gets close anyway let's move on to firing some torpedoes right so this time we've got the torpedoes loaded so I'm gonna open up the torpedo doors right now alright so open them up and we need to be really fast on this because I've accidentally pressed the landing gear at the same time so it might not work as well as we would have liked so I'm just gonna put that on super speed mode put that on super speed super speed on there and super speed on that one so all these are opening torpedoes are still inside I'm gonna just slow down a little bit so we can get the torpedoes out of the way and then speed back up oh that didn't look good on some of them right we may have we may end up catching up to these torpedoes because we released them so slowly right so one of them failed we'll we'll relock that one in place how far are we away from the target uh, have we got enough time to lock it back in place yes we have lock it back in and okay and now we just need to close our doors before we impact and the doors rip off so doors 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 seal up seal up seal up and final last one there we go all torpedoes have been sealed away we've only managed to launch three though and they've all missed by the looks of it and so have we yep we've missed the target I think it's down for another round another thing why we're picking up speed is the color scheme and someone said it to me yesterday and now I just cannot live with this color scheme anymore they said they look like giant nerf guns and now I built this thing it looks like one of them nerf dart things and, and the color scheme is gonna have to change I cannot go with this blue anymore so I'm gonna have to mix some grays maybe with some oranges and so on so let's close its torpedo base so nothing snaps off and we need to access it we've got them on the H's here so we'll just close that up but made it a bit faster close that one up close that one up and finally that one so that the base closing so you could just imagine them opening up the other way around so we're gonna just bring our target area over to the other side so I don't at all think ramming ships are effective even though I've built this one here just because it's been requested so much I just I think they just kind of don't do as much damage as people expect them to do and the actual effort it takes to build it is it just just deletes the purpose of it so we'll ram this anyway a good tactic to stop a ramming ship is turn your inertia dampeners off because what basically happens is you'll just be pushed rather than actually be snapped into so let's see what happens so there we go a bit of lag bit of frame rate drop now we're clipping through them so we'll actually see what really happens very shortly so we've clipped through them a bit so we've not snapped them in two but what we can do is we can hop out and then hop inside and actually see what's going on if we can actually see it so yeah we are clipping through them quite severely here at the moment so yeah the, the damage is going to catch up very soon I can feel it and when it catches up it's not done be fun for any ship involved so we'll have a quick look so yeah the damage is slowly crumpling it's just uh, probably a lot of physics in one in one sort of spot so I mean if you want to lag someone to death probably a pretty good idea so that was a little bit anticlimactic the ships not actually damaged it it's it seems to be part of it now I'm gonna try to reverse away and see what actually happens and see if there's actually any damage there but um, it certainly seems very strange I'll tell you that so yeah the blue ship has kind of become part of the other ship and basically the damage went through that fast that you could say it, it kind of got all its components stuck inside so where they actually ended up was where yeah so basically it lagged all the way through it and then it got stuck on the inside so so maybe a ramming ship is an interesting idea if you want to if you want to really ruin two people's ships then <laughs> That is it. That is. This is the technique for you. I've come to the conclusion that ramming ships at this point in the game are not very effective. I checked out some other people's ships and they seem to be either considerably better, but what they were testing on them on seemed to be quite a weak target. So maybe as a last resort, you might want to ram your ship into someone, say all else fails, 
but I think I'm going to erase this ship from my fleet as it doesn't seem to be as effective as I would have liked it to be. Even the torpedo tubes 9 out of 10 times missed and the idea of firing torpedoes and ramming just didn't work at all. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.